Welcome back fellow space engineers and SI community members. Man of Stone here with you today to bring you another Stone Industries video. Before we jump into today's content, if you like what we're doing here, please make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons. Without further ado, let's get into it. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Quantum Hanger by Bob DeRoss, which is probably one of the more underutilized plugins that we offer on all of our servers. So in this video, we're going to be covering how to properly use it, the perks of using it, and if you stay all the way to the end, I will share with you a secret on how to utilize this to its fullest ability in the upcoming SI Universe launch. So using the Hanger plugin is actually quite simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the grid. You want to make sure that the ownership is 100% yours. Um, pretty much in everything that we do, we always want to make sure the grids that we're trying to work with are ours. Uh, stealing somebody else's grid is, is frowned upon, and the hangar module won't actually let you upload somebody else's grid. So in order to upload it into the hangar, we're going to use the command hangar space save. So it's exclamation point, hangar space save, and while looking at the grid, you're going to input that command, and then it gets uploaded to the hangar. So basically the hangar, uh, you can think about it as a... Um, a garage that you park your car in so you you park your your grid in the in the garage and you're protecting it from the elements uh, so it can't be destroyed it can't be damaged griefed stolen you name it it's uploaded off of the server or off of the the actual in-game uh, environment and it's loaded up into a, a file and um, it, it takes a second to upload it, takes a second to bring it back. So what we're going to do before we try to recall the grid is we're going to take a look at this Atmo miner that we have here, and we're going to run the same command that we just did while looking at a different grid. Okay, so we uploaded that one now too. So now we're going to go and pull these grids back into our um, environment. And before we do that, we're going to take a look at a second command called hanger hanger list which is exclamation point hanger space list and what that does is it generates uh, all of the grids that you currently have saved up in the up in the cloud up in the hangar uh, so you can see here that we have two basic fighters and we have a basic atmo miner which are the two grids uh, that we currently up uh, previously uploaded and the one grid that i uploaded actually prior to this video so what we're going to do is we want to recall uh, let's go with the atmo miner so we're going to run the command uh, hanger load and what's what you could do is you could either write the name of the grid or you can just pull it from the position so the atmo miner is in the third position so we want to do exclamation point hanger space load space three which is the spot in the garage or the hanger that it is and we're gonna hit enter and it successfully pulled it back uh, the issue the issue sometimes with this is it doesn't always push it right in front of you so you might have to kind of look around for it a little bit. Uh, in this case, it did push it right in front of us or respawned it back in front of us, but it kind of respawned it, um, you know, not exactly to the same plane. Uh, it could happen. Make sure when you do save a, a grid that was flying uh, that the uh, thrusters were on so you don't have any crash landings. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to recall the fighter. So we're going to do the same command, exclamation point, hangar, space, load. And both fighters were in position 1 and 2. We will just pull position 1, load that back up. As you can see, it says it's successfully loaded. Uh, however, it's not in front of us. So we look around a little bit. And there it is. It actually ended up uh, behind us. So the grids end up um, in your proximity, but not always necessarily directly in front of you. So definitely take a look when you bring that back. Um, and in all honesty, that's that's as, that's as easy as uh, using this plugin gets. It's three commands, which is uh, hanger space, uh, space save, hanger space list to figure out what uh, position it is. And once you, what, once you know what slot it is um, in your garage, um, you could actually pull it back up very easily by hanger space load and then the number of uh, what slot it's actually in. Now before we call it a day, I will say that um, on the actual server, uh, when you get in there, there are going to be time limits. You can't just spam these commands. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. And you also, on top of owning it 100% yourself, you actually um, 
you can't be in close proximity to an enemy. So if that's something you're, you're trying to hide your grids before an enemy shows up, um, that's not something that we're going to allow. Uh, and there is also a limit on how many hangar spots you have. So that's something to take into consideration. But by using the hangar, and there, it protects your grids from griefing, from destruction. Uh, it also helps you clear clut clutter from your base, so it gives you more area to work. And on top of that, it really helps with our performance, uh, server performance. So if you hangar a couple of your bigger grids that you're not using right away, it, it just makes everybody's life a little bit better. Um, so the uh, secret that I wanted to share with you if you've gotten this far in the video and I appreciate you watching for the for the whole tutorial uh, is the three servers that we're going to be launching come October 2nd will have a linked hangar so that means if you're on the PVE server and you hangar one of your grids you can actually go over to the MPC server or the PVP server and the same way we just did it, you can um, pull up your list and whatever you hangered on any one of the servers will always be available to you. It is a shared um, system, so that might be a little bit easier for some people to work with. And, uh, you know, if you kind of connect the dots as to why that might be important, um, all the luck to you guys. So once again. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions below, feel free to... Uh, put them out there in the comment section. And if you wanted to see us do a tutorial on another plugin that we use or another mod, please feel free to share that as well, and we'll look into doing that in a future video. Thank you. Manistone out.